All right, what up, y'all? Welcome to Straight Facts with Gutter, episode nine. I am your host, Jay Gutter, man, sponsored by Bel Air Vita Deluso. We have the beautiful Casey J in the building. Well, pardon me, top tier Casey in the building. Okay, yeah, I like that. that. We got we got to get it together. How you doing this evening? I'm doing great. How you feeling? Man, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm good. Amen. We are here mm-hmm. just working, doing what we do. Go well, introduce yourself right. to the people. Let them know who you are. Man, it's Casey J, Top Tier Case, Kylie Pinner, whatever you want to call me. You know what it is. <laughs> Shit, I'm here. Shout yeah. out Jay Gutter for having me. Nah, we appreciate you. I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get right to it. Cause I, I was confused by this for when I saw it. How do you win fan vote and not win champion of the year? Like, Man. what are the what are the logistics behind this? Like, what are the analytics? Like, what are we doing here, Casey? Like, what are we doing? Because I thought I thought it was up to the fans. So, what are we doing? I thought it I thought it was up to the fans too, honestly. And you know, like that's that's what I do it for at the end of the day. So, I can never get validation from a panel. What I believe is the panel was super biased. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, people could be like, "Oh, you just mad? You didn't win stuff like that." But if the fans voted me Woman of the Year by double the amount that they voted for anyone else, then the panel definitely got something wrong. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like they judged it off of who ha- who they liked better as a battle rapper than who had a better year. And we all know 2020 was Casey J's, like, period. I mean, when you look at it, right? Like, <laughs> when you look at it, you didn't lose a round all year. That's what I'm trying to say. Like that, but they never mentioned that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I, I got discredited a lot in that panel. And and it it made me mad, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, damn, for real. But you know what I'm saying? Like they can they instead of explaining why I was number two above your 40 bars, above your official, above Miss Hustle, they couldn't explain why I was number two rather than Rather than doing that, they discredited why I wasn't number one. You see what I'm saying? So even if they would have just talked about why they put me as number two a little bit more, um, I would have appreciated that. But I feel like they never gave me my credit for real. Because here's the thing that I here's the thing that I don't like, right? If we're gonna do something and it being the first year and y'all fumbled, y'all dropped the ball for whatever reason, say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. tell me what I, I don't. I, I'm not a fan of the politics behind certain things because the thing is like you can't win. You can't have double the numbers because men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. You had double exactly. the numbers for fans, the people that are watching, that are paying their money for to go to these events, to go. Exactly. To, what's the problem? But Yeah. And not, not only just paying their money to watch, to go to the events, et cetera, that they had to donate in order to vote. So imagine half the fans or the majority of the fans voting, donating, thinking that it's going to go to Casey J, and they're they're watching it and they're robbing me. Like that's crazy. That was crazy. You know? it, but then looking at the numbers and saying, okay, wait a minute. So we donated. We did this, that, and the third. The, our our favorite won by double, for she lost. Right. And we don't have a reason why she lost. No reason. No reason why I lost. No reason why I'm number two out of 10. No reason for nothing. All we got is some hate, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, you know, because I always go against adversity and I always overcome it. And they be like, damn, you know, that's why they call me self-made because I literally had to go against bricks. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Made houses out there, motherfuckers. Well, listen, for the people, for the people that matter within this community, um, you want, so it, <laughs> so that's yes. all that matters at the end of the day. So no, for real. <laughs> so, the ooh, like, that's it. That's that's all that matters at the end of the day. And um, you're gonna get your bread in the back end anyway. So f y'all. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. No, honestly. Yo, whose idea was it to start the Bardashian crew? It was Jazz and Official's idea. They came up with that idea um before Double Impact um 2019. Okay. So I was looking at yeah, like, exactly. yo, like, who came up with that? Like, that's, that's dope. Right, yeah. So it was dope. And then they added me 2020 of um, January. Okay. So um, what meal would you like to destroy after killing Swamp and Hemi? 
<laughs> well, you know, you know, Twerk just called me out, so I might have to get him next. You feel me? Kings versus Queens three or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think Twerk would be a dope battle. I think that we would definitely complement each other. Um, I think that, you know, I feel like I could beat Twerk, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm not saying he's on Swamp's level or anything like that. I know he's nothing to be messed with. So yeah, that's who I want next. Because he called me out and everything. It's only right. Let's do it. Not, not only did he call you out, but I think that you will elevate his pen. So we'll, we'll see a whole different mm. Like I re- mm. The thing is that people don't realize that you could want you could want someone someone to win, but I th- you want to have battle of the night when it comes to certain aspects. Like you want to give right. a good show. And that's something that we continuously have gotten from you is good battles. Like you're not going to go into a battle and she's Tessie J and she's right. forgetting her lyrics or she's fumbling and she's drawing exactly. blanks. You know what I mean? So, and that's something like people always get to twerk. I would love, ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Casey J versus New Jersey twerk. Man, that's a battle. That's a battle. Nah, I like we, that. We need that. We need that. We need that. What, what do you consider that has been your hardest battle to date? Mm, my hardest oh. battle to date. Ooh, what, what, what? I, I would say the swamp battle. Um. It was just because I was going against the dude. I didn't know a lot about Swamp. It was a lot of material I didn't have to work from. Uh, it was me opening a, an event, being the first performer, being in a new environment where it's not a, a room for the energy. It's just an empty small room. So just adjusting to that was probably the hardest thing that I've had to do in battle rap. Honestly, I'm not going to lie because you know, you used to, I'm, you know me, if you watch my battles, I'm slapping the crowd's hands. It's lit. You know, I'm flexing. Uh, I'm feeding off the energy. So when we were in a closed room and that it and performing for cameras, it was a little bit different. So it was the hardest to do and prepare for. Okay. So what, 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 in your, for your writing process, what changed from the bigger venues to then? doing now with the caffeine and the no crowd because you know if, especially when it comes to a talent like yourself like i mean i've seen you live so i've seen how you give it up like you really be you really use that ammo to kind of like you start going ham so what was the writing prices um like the difference Okay, so you just froze for a little bit so I didn't hear anything that you said after um how my writing process changed. Okay. Um what's your 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 writing process? How did it differ from the bigger venues to then being just just you and your appointment on caffeine? Um okay, so it didn't really differ at all. Um like I didn't really change up nothing. Like I'm still well, well actually I can't lie. Versus Bonnie, I tried to change it up and be a little bit more lyrical and 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 to storytell and stuff like that and I got negative feedback from the fans. Like that's not what we want. So I was like, okay, shit, I'm just keep doing me. So I'm not doing nothing different from uh, if it was a big room, I'm sorry, if a big crowd or a small room, like it's the same thing. I'm gonna try to move who is in that small room. But I tried to switch it up versus Bonnie. Fans was like, no, we want that KCJ versus Swamp, that KCJ versus Merch. So I'm just barking on people. Like I'm teaching them how to rap, talking to their soul, you know? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of the one with Bonnie. Yeah, exactly. Nobody was, and, and that was me. Right, I still won, so that's all that matters. But you know, I'm my biggest critic, so I'm always trying to go again, like try to be better than I was last. Okay. So now, who's your ideal feature? Because you, you one of the, you one of the few battle rappers. Um, I don't even like calling you a battle rapper, but you read an artist, and as you see your name here, like you, you're an artist. Who's your ideal feature? Mm, my ideal feature? Ooh, future. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm in love with future. Future, come on, we can work together. You know, you might as well just sign me. I know all your lyrics to every song. So that's that's definitely my um ideal feature. Like he's probably the most person that like the most concerts I've been to is been a future concert. Like I just am in love with his music. So are we going are we going to manifest a mask off remix in 2022 when everybody's vaccinated with future? That's what we're doing. 
Oh, you know what? That's crazy because we got a March Madness freestyle on the way. You feel me? That's how much I love Future. Wow. Like so, so <laughs> I know we on the same page. So you just gave me an idea. We just might get a mask off. Um, we just might get a mask off freestyle. But yeah, we got a March Madness freestyle coming like next week. So I'm excited no. about that. You need to you need to drop the mask off freestyle and then have all your fans tag them. Have everybody have your alert on. So every yeah. time he, goes, he, getting, he getting hit. He getting hit right in the head. Like, who the hell? <laughs> like, what is this? You don't have no from? choice but to. <laughs> right. So yeah, I, but that. that... Uh, I see you open up for Mega Stallion. Um, who would you like to open up for that you haven't, other than Future? Um, who would I like to open up for? Shit, I'm trying to headline. You feel me? Like, but who would I? Who would I open up for right now? Okay, um, who would you? Who would you like to? Call I don't know. Headline? Who would you like to co-headline the council with? This is a very hard question, by the way, because it's a lot of artists. Okay, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go with J Cole. I would open up. I would love to open up for J Cole one day. I love me some J Cole. That's that that's that's fair. That's a that's fair assessment. So yeah. now you, I'm gonna sneak ahead, but you kind of put me to shame a little bit. I've been watching. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm, I need to step my kick game up. Get out here. Flexing on these fools, like I'm like, you know, <laughs> what is going on? I'm going crazy. I'm yeah, man, because I was just like, nah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little mad at you. I'm not even gonna hold you. Why are you mad at me? Listen, man, like I salute you and be mad at the same time. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I see. The thing is, I've been a sneakerhead for a very long time, and. So I've had sneakers for like 10 years that I just like would not even wear, stuff like that. So some of the sneakers that I just like recently put on, I probably had since like high school. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been a sneakerhead for a very long time. So I have a lot of different shoes and, you know, it, you know I like to wear them. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just swagging nah, it going, out. You feel nah, me? You're going, <laughs> nah, you're going crazy out here. You're going crazy. Like, I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm oh, like, let me go man. put some heels on right quick before they think I don't own no heels. Yeah, right. but <laughs> so now, so now that you're top tier, Casey, can you see yourself getting inspired or moved the same to battle a rookie or a mid tier? Nah, I'm not. I'm not inspired or moved to battle a, a mid tier, low tier, no tier. I'm not inspired, none of that, because um, I feel like right now um, I need names. I'm, I'm trying to move up, and right now I feel like I had such a great year last year that a, a, a lower tier battling me that just helps their status. So at this point, I need, I'm I'm the name, so I need to battle a name. Okay. So then, other than twerk. Give me two females on your hit list right now. Ehar and 40 Bars. They know they on my hit list. I've been calling them out for years. And it's like, when y'all going to step outside? Y'all can take every other battle but KCJ. Listen, 40 Bars, when you're ready, let's battle. Ehar, when you come back outside, let's battle. You I, you know I dropped my top tier disc, so I really dissed everybody. I really don't care who it is. Top oh, tier. All, yeah. I, you, I was like, ooh. I'm like, okay. Like she she going that she going that next. Like it's straight headshots. So you don't even matter if you got if you got armor on. It's straight headshots. So I was like, okay. Hey man, I, I'm trying to make them mad at me. I'm trying to make them mad at me. They're gonna like, damn, I wanna kill this bitch. Like that's how I want somebody to feel when they come battle me. I'm tired of them choking. I'm tired of them doing not being fully prepared and only going 50%. Like, you got to bring your A game when you battle in KCJ. I don't, I don't see, I don't see you losing either one of those battles. Um, and I know, I know when 40 watches this, she's gonna get mad at me. She'd be all right. She'd be all right. 
<laughs> she'd be all right. Because, listen, man, this, the, the reason why I call my, my show Straight Facts with Gutter, man, everybody know I shoot straight from the hip. I don't sugar cold shit. This is not This is not for the weak at heart. This is not for the kids. This is, listen, it, it is what it is. Like, y'all, y'all going, I guess, Casey, good luck. Because put your money Honestly. on Casey. I'm putting my money on Casey. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. You ain't fumbled, you ain't fumbled, you ain't fumbled yet. Because you got to realize it like this, right? Like, you ain't fumbled the ball yet. Exactly. I haven't seen you, like, go draw a blank or nothing today. Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. Like, and then you have these other girls, they be choking all stumbling all over the place. And I get through everything clean, whether it's written or it's freestyle. And that's why they respect me. That's why they're afraid to go against me because I haven't drawn a blank. Because it's 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 all shots, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not missing either. That's why they're scared to go against me. That's why you Kylie Penner. You shitting me? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. One point five million on YouTube. Like exactly. This shit ain't, ain't bought or manufactured. Like, come on, man. So, yo, I have, I have a question. Are you are you a licensed bartender? Yeah, of course I am. I've been a licensed bartender. Well, well, you have to renew every year, but I've been a licensed bartender since like two thousand fourteen or thirteen. Because I'm looking and I'm like, yo, like shots with Casey, like that's yeah. Clever. What date? Give give the people the date, the date and the time that they can tune into that. Um, yeah, you got make sure you have the caffeine app. You can tune into Shots with Casey J every Thursday at six p.m. Central. And so that's tomorrow. Y'all tune in with me on Caffeine. Follow me at KCJ so you get the notification. And yeah, we we get lit on my show. We, we take shots. You see, I'm at the bar right now. I teach y'all how to make a drink. We do some uh, questions, get feedback. It's a lot of interaction that goes on. Okay, definitely tap in with her for that. And then I have you have the website, the sojanisa.com. Right. People, want, people can get you know people can get the merch, people can get the shot glasses and things like that. Exactly. So that's something exactly. that when I put when I put the interview up on my website, it's gonna have a link to that. That way people can go in there. It's gonna have a link to your cash app in case people want to donate. Um it's gonna have all of that on there. Um as well as some of your um uh, just a just a just a couple of the one point five mil um YouTube videos is gonna be on there. Um so your biggest influence. My biggest influence when it comes to rapping would be Eve. For sure. That's dope. Eve, Eve, is, Eve is actually one of my favorites. That's, that's one of the that's one of them ones that just kind of came in the game. And even before Rough Riders, when she was messing with Dre and them, she was just dropping freestyles and just killing everything. And then she joined with, with Rough Riders. And like, that's someone that I, that I would love to see an Eve and Casey J free, um, feature. That oh, my so God. Fire. I've covered so many of her beats. And when I went on I-95, that's why I was like, I, I was so happy to get an Eve beat because I'm like, bro, I'm about to spit my soul out on here because I love Eve so much. Like, I think I was nine when I first seen um, her video. And I was like, whoa, women can actually rap. And, you know, she she was just like regular. She, was, she wasn't all like, she wasn't little Kim of the rap game. She was actually spitting. And she was in spitting, you know, she was down from... Uh, I don't yeah, know. She's, how a to she's a pit bull in a skirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And 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 that's me. That describes me perfectly. So I feel like she is my biggest influence for sure. Nah, that that's something that we definitely have to get get so listen, I'm big on manifesting. I'm big on tagging people. I don't care. Man. I'm jumping DMs. I don't care. Like <laughs> I'm sending this link to Eve and everybody. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but um this gonna be um, your favorite, give me your favorite three artists. Give me three males, three females. I already, okay, I already got J. Cole on the male. I already got Eve on the female. Give me two more. Okay, Mel, I, I got a future. Your future, and, right? Um, goodness, who am I going to give this last spot? You got to give it to somebody oh. from Houston. You got to give it up for your city. What's going on? I give it to Megan. No, I give it to Beyonce. Ooh. Oh, she's a woman. Okay, so women. Be Beyonce. Who did you have? Eve. Eve. Ooh. And, and uh, 
Oh, I gotta say Nicki Minaj. I can't even front like that. We are Nicki. Um, and for men, I said Future, J. Cole, and if we're gonna do someone from Houston, I'm gonna say Chameleon Air. I did not expect that. I know. Wow. <laughs> Wanna catch me riding dirty? Gotta catch me riding dirty. <laughs> That's wow. But hey, yo, shout out to Mike Jones, shout out to Slim Thug, you know what I'm saying? All of that. But you know, Chameleon Air, he was, he was, I loved him. I love me some Chameleon Air yeah, back I then. Got, I got, I got Swisher one House, one. all of Swisher House. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I got one last question for you. Give the people a useless talent that you have. And by useless, it means that it's a talent, but you can't do shit with it. It don't make no damn sense why you even have that talent, but you got it. I feel like I could profit off of all my talents, though. So, like... I don't want to say anything is useless, like nothing. I don't have no useless talents at all. Like, I feel like it, yeah. Gee, that's, that's, it. that's how you know, that's how you know you're a hustler. <laughs> right. Uh, listen, it could be useless to you, but I'm going to make a bag off of it. Therefore, Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, we're going to figure it out some way, somehow. What, can I cook? Yes, I'll sell some plates. Can I draw? Yes, I'll sell some paintings. Some pictures. What? Like, we'll figure it out some way. You said we're gonna I'm figure not. it out. <laughs> it was it was definitely a pleasure chopping it up with you. Yo, everyone, th thank you so much for tapping in, man. This was straight facts with Gutter Man episode nine. Casey J, please go top tier Casey. Top Find tier Casey. Yeah. Let them know, reach you. Let them know yes. what's happening with you. First off, shout out Jay Gutter. Thank you for having me. It's your girl, Casey J, top tier case, Kylie Pinner, whatever you want to call me. Y'all can follow me on caffeine at Casey J, Twitter and Instagram at real Casey J. Yeah, so tap in, follow me, share my stuff, all of that. Got you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Okay, we'll do. All right, good night.